So today we will calculate the standard deviation in Javascript. We will make a function, a Javascript, to calculate the standard deviation. The standard deviation is the square root of the variance. And now what is the variance? The variance is the average of the squared differences from the mean or the average. Sounds complicated, but actually it's very, very simple. I will explain it um, on a piece of paper here. So let's say we have the numbers 4, 8, 2, 6, 4 numbers, and we will plot it on a line, on a graph. Okay, so that's the x-axis, y-axis, doesn't matter. So let's say this is number 2, Okay, number four, number six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, so we have number four, which is here. So number four goes, let's blow them like this. So number four goes here. For the first number, it's here. Second number is number 8, which is here. Third number is number 2, which is here. And fourth number is number 6, which is here. Okay, now we have to calculate. So the variance is the average of the square differences from the mean. So we have to calculate the mean first. That's very easy. So we have numbers 4, 8, 2, 6. So we have to add up these numbers and then divide it by the amount of numbers we have, which is 4. So we have to calculate, we have to add up 4 plus 8 plus 2 plus 6, which is 4 plus 8 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 6 is 20. And then we have to divide it by the numbers, by the amount of numbers we have. So divide by 4, which gives us 5. So the mean is 5, which is somewhere here on the line, 5. Okay, so let's make a line here. That's the mean or the average. Now to calculate um, the variance, so the variance is the average of the square differences from the mean. So we have the mean already. Now what are the square differences from the mean? So first we need to know the differences from the mean in order to know the squared differences from the mean, which is easy enough. So we have 5 here um, as a mean and 4 as a number. So there's a difference of minus 1 from the mean. So minus 1. Okay. The second is 8, which is plus 3 from the mean. The third number is number 2, which is minus 3 from the mean. Is that right? Yes. Minus 3. And then the fourth number is number 6, which is plus 1 from the mean. Plus 1. And now we have to square these differences. Okay. So that means um, one time, minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. By the way, squaring numbers always results in a positive number. That's basically the meaning of squaring numbers. Um, so 3 times 3 is 9. Minus 3 times 3 is 9. 1 times 1 is 1. Okay. So now we have the differences from the mean, but now, now we have the square difference from the mean. Okay. The square differences from the mean. And now the average of the square differences from the mean. So we need to get the average of these four numbers. So we just have to add them up. So that's very simple. That's 20. And then, um, damn, that's a bit same as the total. But anyway, that's fine. Um, so 20 divided by 4. And it gives us... 5. So the variance is 5. The variance is 5. Is that still right what I'm saying? I hope so. 
not sure. Okay, so the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. That means the STD standard deviation is square root of the variance. And that is, let's get our calculator, 2.236. 2.236 so that's the standard deviation all right that's all it is easy so now if you want to plot this on the chart what we usually do is like um, the mean plus one time standard deviation and then the mean minus ten, one time standard deviation and we will do this so that's 2.23 so that's uh, 5 plus 2 that's going to be 7.23 that's somewhere here so let's plot this one, okay, and then 5 minus 2.2, so that's uh, 2.7 somewhere, let's see here, let's say. And then we plot this here, and this is basically what we need to know. Now, why is the standard deviation important? Um, it kind of cancels out all the extreme numbers and gives you... Um, it gives you sort of um, all the numbers that are acceptable in the range. The standard deviation is used a lot uh, to calculate technical analysis and statistics. It's, it's used a lot, so it's a very, very important base to start with. Okay, so the standard deviation is worked out on paper. Now let's uh, do some JavaScript. Okay, so basically what we want to accomplish is something like here on the screen. So we will make a function of the standard deviation and then we will plot it on a chart. It's very easy to do. It's not going to take a, long, uh, a lot of time um, and it looks pretty awesome. So let's go to our exercise file. By the way, um, you will find this file somewhere underneath this video or whatever. You will, you will, um, I'll leave you a link or something. So first of all, we will start with um, some values which I just copy paste from somewhere. This is these are actually values from a um, cryptocurrency exchange, Binance, um, and then which is also the the y axis. And then we're gonna need to make a function um, since we will use average a few times to calculate the standard deviation. We will actually make a function of average. So function and we will call it AVG and then we pass in values whatever they will be so that's going to be the closing price after to get the average we need to have the sum of the values so sum so we start with sum is zero um, then to calculate sum of all the values we will make a four loop so for i in values in values indeed um, and then I'm not really used to this notepad plus um, plus normally I use VB code but anyway it will do the job I guess so what we need to calculate, uh, what we need to do, so sum plus is, so we need sum plus sum for every value we get in our for statement. So sum plus is um, values i. Okay. Now, most of the data you will get is JSON data if you get data from exchanges or, or from server somewhere. So, and usually they get returned in strings, but we can, if you add up strings, they won't be mathematically calculated. So they will just add a string to the old string. So what we have to do is a parse float, parse float for every value. Okay. That's something uh, that's so okay. That's anyways. Parse float for every value. Okay, and then we have the sum. So now we have the sum. Now we need to have the um, amount. 
and the amount is just um, values dot length it gives us the amount and then we will return the AVG the average and that's sum divided by amount very simple um, let's call this function um, so let's um, AV let's mean or let's just call it average is and we call the function function AVG and then we pass in close prices close prices okay and then console log average okay let's see how that works save it let's see if that works in the browser so in order to view the console we press F12 okay we refresh okay um, reference error connol log is not defined okay that's pretty obvious because connol no one knows what it means this console is better um, okay length is written like this apparently let's try it again okay and so now we have the um, the average of all these numbers next function we need to make is a standard deviation okay so let's go ahead and do that okay so function we will call it std from standard deviation we will pass in some values okay and let's see what do we need to make this function first we need a mean mean or average so the mean is very simple so we we just um, so far we just call it mean we don't we don't really have to declare them in the app script so we can call it let far or but we don't really have to this declare them so the mean is and then we call our function we just made avg and then the values these values we get from the values we're passing in here which will later be um, our close prices so we have the mean already next we need is um, the variance to calculate the variance we need the square differences so the squared differences is we're gonna map the values map is just a javascript uh, function which returns a new array uh, with all the values calculated uh, in this map function so map and then function and then we're gonna pass in that function so the values okay what went wrong here okay like this okay and then difference so we need a difference which is basically the difference from the mean uh, which is the value minus the mean we need the square difference square difference and that's basically um, the difference squared right so <coughs> that's very easy that's difference times difference okay next we need to return the square difference to make a new string uh, to make a new array with uh, uh, the return value so return squared difference okay so now we have the square difference the square difference says um, next we need is the variance and the variance is the average of the square differences so we call our function again avg avg squared differences all right 
So we have the variance, and then the standard deviation is um, the square root from the variance. That's very simple. STD is, we call the yeah, script math function, uh, and call the method SQ or T, and then we pass in the variance. Okay. And this should be basically it, so we have to return return std which is our standard deviation okay let's call it standard deviation okay and there we go so the standard deviation is 7.1057 um, I hope that's all correct now let's plot these numbers on a chart. Um, okay, so what we will do for the chart, um, I'm not gonna make a tutorial how to use charts. I use, um, I think it's chart GS. Let me have a quick look. So I'm basically just gonna copy paste uh, the code. Um, I will make tutorial later um, how to plot charts, also how to make uh, other technical indicators and analyzes on markets and, and statistics. Delete this. Yes. Okay, and here we go. So we got our standard deviation, which is the upper line. That's one time standard deviation, or the lower line is minus one time standard deviation from the mean. That's it for today. Did you like this video? Um, please give it a thumbs up. There's a lot more videos coming about technical analysis, uh, about statistics in JavaScript. Um, so please subscribe to the channel uh, if you want to be updated with new videos. See you soon, guys.